juice. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I think the most interesting thing for me about the PS5, um, just listening to all the coverage that came out this week and also a little bit last week, um, the biggest point that people seem to be the most ecstatic about is actually the controller, specifically the haptic feedback. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's it's not the DualShock Five; it's the DualSense. Um, so so basically, what's happening here is that it, it has a very is it, is it right to call it proprietary? But basically, the rumble and trigger feedback, as according to industry veterans, saying that it feels more next gen than any kind of graphical improvements that we've seen. And so one of the tie, uh, the tie-in game with um, the PS5 Astro's Playroom, a short little uh, three, four hour game that's just kind of there to show off the features of the controller as well as some of the PS5's other uh, capabilities. Um, it, it's basically been described that it never, that the DualSense never stops rumbling while you're playing the entire game. And it can be like super tiny little amounts up to like gigantic amounts of like shaking. And so mm-hmm. it kind of gives you like a little bit of diegetic feedback for interactions such as like using a slide walking on gravel hitting a pool of water or like walking through a sandstorm like it provides uh similar enough sensations yeah. through the rumble that it kind of makes you feel like you're there mm-hmm. and uh, so i have yet to use it yet but but that's been like basically the biggest talking point about the PS5. Yeah. So as, I'm as, really uh, giant, as Giant Bomb said, like you know HD Rumble. This is Ultra HD Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> it's 4K Rumble. But uh, yeah, I'm actually really freaking excited to use it. Um, although, as, as stated, like for some of the other uh, PS5 features, such as the proprietary SD technology, I I sincerely doubt that anyone. Or any developers that are going to mm-hmm. utilize it uh, that aren't first party, like th- uh, the third party. Will. Oh, it, will. I swear to God, if this is not added into Death Stranding as like an update, oh, geez, I'm going to be disappointed because this seems like it was mm-hmm. made for that. Like, imagine going through the snow or like going across the rocks and the controller like constantly, like either it's the backpack like going up and down on his back or if it's his shoes under the rocks and stuff. Like, come on. It was legitimately made for that game. <laughs> yeah. Like, please. Yeah. Or whatever horror game Kojima's working on next. Like, oh my god, can you imagine? Yeah, I, like, I know for I know for a damn fact if uh even if any do th- if any third party companies do uh wind up supporting this, even if it's not to like the full capacity that first parties are doing, um, I'll definitely be getting the games on PS5 versus the Xbox just because I, I, I want to test this feature. I want to see what it can do. Like, like when they first introduced it, it was just kind of like, oh, yeah, whatever. It's a little bit more feedback. And I think even the Xbox One controllers Xbox, have, have... Xbox One has rumble triggers. Yes, but... Which yeah, only yeah. first-party games use. Right. It does feel, feel good, good in Halo. Yeah. yeah. And in Forza and stuff. And so this is kind of just like the next... Um, the next evolution in that, so, yeah, so that'll they, be exciting. If they can beat, um, if they can beat how the Kirby game uses um, HD Rumble, then they're, they're doing pretty well. Because um, um, if you beat, uh, I think it's the last, the, the last like challenge mission in the Switch Kirby game, the HD Rumble basically chimes out the Kirby theme. <laughs> it turns out green greens. That is yeah. adorable. <laughs> I totally forgot the the switch has uh, HD Rumble. Like that's not even yeah. on the uh, triggers. That that's kind of like just on the Joy Cons. Right? Yeah, did only you play, a few um, games use it. It's really yeah. not like. A did big you play? Thing. Um, did you play a uh, uh, fifty one games? Like the the uh, board game that came I out have this not. year. Nope. It's a lot of fun. All like almost all the dice games use uses it, and it feels fantastic. Okay, I might have to check it out for that then. Honestly, yes. if you want a good recommendation for the HD Rumble One Two Switch, yeah, I never well, played that either. As the yeah. launch title, that's the best way to experience the HD Rumble because literally no other game. I think I think Doom used it a tiny bit mm. with the like uh, with the with the with the like feedback from the weapons. I think mm-hmm. someone could correct me, but Mario, I believe it did. Mario Odyssey used it subtly. Yeah. Um, I, I know Breath of the Wild does not use it whatsoever. Yeah, that that that's where I've sunk the most hours into my Switch. So, mm-hmm. it, yeah. But uh, once you Switch is basically, 
it wasn't a tie and you had to pay for it separately, but it basically exists as a bit of a tech demo for, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. for the Switch. Kind of like Wii Sports was for yeah, the Yeah, but if you want to have fun, you should play 51 games. <laughs> I have I, I I have an entire stream on my channel playing one two switch the friend and it's so when are you gonna one v one me in Wii Sports tennis? Ooh, Wii Sports tennis, try me in fucking bowling, bro. Oh yes, <laughs> same. You're not the only one. Let's go. 